I think music is the best when you do it as a hobby. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. not, not as work, man. Do you feel like music to you right now is a hobby? Not at all. Uh, yeah, I want it to be a hobby. You uh -huh. know, what I'm saying I'm trying to get to that stage. Yeah, you know that. You know that typical rapper story happened to me. You know, I shared it with some platforms. Um, man, I I had like the the best artist. Mm. I, I built this uh, label. You know, with, we're we're becoming like we're becoming the new major. You know, what I'm saying the money was crazy. Yeah. And one day, boom! Uh, these people got together, got together, and robbed everything. Oh my god! Everything, create what they call ingam. That's your uh -huh. sort of like a fingerprint. Yeah. They forged wow. the stamp and took everything. And I was, I was homeless. Me and oh Tasha, my gosh. I couldn't really share this story yeah. because at the end of the day, nobody really gives up, and they don't believe you. Oh my god! How is Tasha and Tiger JK homeless? And and you know, it's a concept they can't really comprehend. Mm. And also, a lot of people are like they're good. Mm. They probably got like how can it be? How hard can it be? They have they it got locked jacked, away. Yeah. Like, maybe five hundred k. Yeah. But no, man, we're like homeless. Oh my! What what year was this? You know there was me? around two thousand thirteen or fourteen, and that's when I made feel good music. Feel good music was my eighth album. Uh -huh. I made millions of dollars just record sales alone. Mm. I had no idea. Oh my gosh. Not even got a dime because it's a company that I built with Tasha. And um, the fact that I couldn't really um, take care of my you know, staffs, mm -hmm. I was always feeling guilty. And mm -hmm. every time my partner like, yo, we're like 200K short. Next album, I think we got to be making money. So that 200K short was always… It's that pressure. It's that put down gum. It's that pressure and guilty conscience because yeah. you know, I couldn't really… Um, I was feeling like, man, you know, my day ones, I want to like, you know, spoil them and, you know, show them good life. Right. But man, because they're stuck with me. They believed in me. They're struggling. But man, I found out that they got like three different foreign cars and like, and they were, it was crazy. Like, they were acting whenever I show up. They would roll up in a scooter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was staged oh my gosh. for whole, like two straight years. It was staged to take all this. You know what I mean? So that happened when I realized that I made a lot of money with, with the eighth album, Feel Good Music, with, which I thought it bombed, right? Mm -hmm. And when I found out, like, you know, that sort of com comforted me. Like, oh, I did well. Yeah. People really were checking for my music. Yeah. So hence, Feel good music is my label now. Yeah, I named it that mm. because of that. Mm. And and instead of going to the press and like fighting, we decided like, yo, at the end of the day, clear conscious, we're gonna go to sleep well. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We didn't do nobody dirty. Yeah, and and God gave us this talent. Tasha, me, busy, yo, let's start over. Yeah. Come think of it kind of stupid, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know. And during that time, man, when it rains, it pours, man. My father was diagnosed with cancer. Oh. And, you know, uh, I had to, yeah. yeah. No, it's all good now. You know, love, he's in a good place. Mm -hmm. And that happened. I had to battle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we started rebuilding. Mm -hmm. Rebuilding. And that was the reason we were up uh, doing a, a van tour with MFBTY. Mm hmm. No, because we weren't really in a situation to do anything but that. Yeah. And people really, my fans couldn't understand like, wow, yeah. Tasha has a great, you know, fandom, and I, I have DT fan, and like, yeah. why are they calling themselves MFBTY? Yeah. Why are they doing this? Because we only had each other, and we were like really going through a rough time. Yeah. And there was the only way for us to sort of like deal with. Uh, grabbing a mic again. You know mm. what I'm saying? We're going through like… At least going through it yeah, together. Man, depression. Yeah. Almost. Oh man. And BB happened. You mm. know what I mean? BB too, man. While this happening, I'm busy. Moved to Ujangbu. We don't live in Seoul. We don't live in a scene like, you know, outskirts of Korea. Where we, you know, we call it the boo. It's like the hood. <laughs> the boo? The boo. <laughs> we live in the Ujangbu? Okay. 
basically we're you know broke damn near homeless uh landlords telling us to kick you know get out get out yeah we didn't have no place to uh really do anything yeah but all we know was how to make music yeah so not knowing anything like yo we need a, we need a studio place so what we did was me and just start walking around looking for like a, a basement mm. and there was a church mm. near our you know apartment and they didn't try to sell the church it was just was running fine something i don't know god maybe some spoke to me i just went in Muksanim would you be willing to sell this spot <laughs> will you sell me this church <laughs> and all this Oh, you got no job on there. You know, yeah. she's like, what, "What are you? What are you crazy? Yeah. What are you talking about? Like, it is my number. Uh, it's yeah. perfect place for me." And uh, four days later, man, she called up. Wow. Come think of it, man. Having a church in a basement, it doesn't really make sense. Uh -huh. I want you to have it. So uh -huh. she gave me half price discount. Wow. She prayed for me, and that's the spot uh -huh. we built the studio. And that's when Bibi showed up. She was in high school. She was being uh, approached by a lot of uh, major labels, but for some reason, Bibi's like, "I want to stay here." Huh. Is she from the Boo as well? No, she's from like Taiwan. Like she's you know from um, way down south. Uh huh. I'm like, why? Yeah. I remember me asking Bibi like, why? But you know, I don't have nothing, but I got my name. My name is my name. You know, yeah. <laughs> like I could help you. Yeah. Find great. Um, let me put some. You know. Give you some recommendation, and yeah. you know, what I'm saying I make sure I protect you. You know, what I'm saying I know you've been through it all. I've been through it all, and yeah. she's like, "No, nah, I'm gonna stay here." <laughs> Why? Yeah. Not because of me though. Be was like, "Cause I love Tasha." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least she's honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love Tasha. Yeah. That's that's how feel good music started, man. Uh -huh. uh, BB, me, um, Marshall, and then an unofficial member of feel good is Marshall. Yeah, Marshall. Bang, Marshall yeah. Bang, yeah. Yeah. That's our crew, man. Holy jabezus, that was an incredible video, wasn't it? No? Yeah? Okay. Well, if you liked it, be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and turn your notifications on so you don't miss this incredible content that we have coming for you. And if you get a moment, leave us a comment. Don't go anywhere, watch more videos, and stay healthy and happy. See you soon. Bye! Don't, where are you going? Okay.